Hey guys, what's up? New video today about the new file format and update that Sketch 43 is bringing to us designers who are using Sketch. So there are a lot of rumors and myths out there regarding the Sketch 43 update because the update is bringing a new file format and it's switching basically from a binary code to JSON. That's actually a good thing because binary code was really not readable for human beings but JSON is a file format that helps you to understand the file structure and basically all of the content of such a file. Now this new file format and this update for Sketch also brings some good and bad new things. So maybe let's start with the good things. Now I read a lot about rumors who say that designers now need to code or designers now need to learn how to code and also uh, that designers now have to learn how to use GitHub for version control. And I gotta say that this is not true. You don't have to learn how to code. You can simply, how you're used to doing it, just jump right into Sketch and start your designs and just focus on the whole design aspect instead of also focusing on the programming and development aspect. What about GitHub? Now, of course, GitHub is something that you have to learn. GitHub is something that you have to invest your time to to like learn it and to get used to it but the new file format really helps us designers to create like a version control of our designs that was something that was really developer only. I also know from my company that I work in that the developers are really using GitHub to like have their version control but me as a designer I didn't have this version control. Of course you could do it like with a workaround but it's really hard and it's like time intensive so it's really recommendable to just do version control and now we are allowed and like able to do it with this new file format. And now there is this other like myth or problem that the new update is bringing with it. So the problem is that there were some apps like Zeppelin and some other companies that were trying to fill the gap between working as a designer together with developers and handing over your files and your maybe even some code and yeah some companies try to fill in this gap with their product like Zeppelin as I said and there is probably now a problem because actually Sketch is now giving the developer a full control over what the designer made within a design file. The, de the developer is probably able to read this JSON code and he's able to understand what the designer made, like which colors he, the designer chose and what he needs to know about like the structure of the design. These companies and products were trying to like do all of that and now the new file format and basically the new update is probably shutting them down as far as I know. I mean, of course there's a like time gap because these designers have to adapt and also these whole design and development departments at each company have to adapt to the new file format and have to really get used to it. But I think after a certain time period, it is maybe possible that companies like Zeppelin need to uh, refocus, need to switch their main product because like the file format and the new structure is getting rid of the necessity to have these products, these third-party products and that's basically something that is probably not that good about the new update even though it's making your life as a designer and your collaboration together with developers more easy than ever. Because now for Sketch plugin developers it's probably way easier to create cool plugins as well as for example in Vision I think they are planning for a really cool update, a really cool feature. Envision is basically trying to create this motion feature which lets you not just create cool designs and prototypes with a basic like swipe in from the right transition but with detailed transitions like we are used to it from for example my principal tutorials. So I think this new file format can really establish a great new way to create plugins and like it's really helping us designers and uh, developers who are using Sketch to collaborate in a great way even though I'm kind of sad because it probably means that some companies and great products will probably be obsolete in a few months. I'm not sure if this is 100% true so if you have 
have any other information about that, maybe you can write that down in the comment section and like tell me and tell the rest of the community if this is really true, if these companies and their current focus, their current product will become obsolete within the next months. I'm sure these companies will do and handle it well. I think they will find another product, another focus that they can really rely on to keep their business running and to help us designers and developers and our collaboration even more in the future. So I hope this video gave you some more insight and update about the new file format. Uh, as I said, the sketch tutorials will be back soon. I'm already like preparing the tutorials and I really wanted to bring this video out to you guys right here because uh, it is really important if you have like the latest sketch version to know what like the future of sketch and designers who are using sketch is and what we need to know about the new update. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumb up button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. By the way, guys, I'm wearing my sketch shirt again. It's now time to jump back into the program to create some cool designs. Okay, guys, thanks for your time. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!